Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and welcome to this Power Up webinar, taking a look at how to color correct a scene inside Final Cut Pro 10. Whenever we talked about color correction in the past, we've always viewed it in terms of how do we read scopes and how do we fix problems. In this webinar, I want to build on that foundation and take it to the next step, which is how do we color correct a scene? And that involves thinking about what color correction and color grading are and what the scene is about, which is what this webinar is going to cover. What I want to cover today is to create an emotional look for a scene. Well, in our case, we're going to have three different scenes today. Past webinars have looked at how to fix problem clips. Today, we'll discover how to make the clips in a scene all look as though they were shot at the same time by the same camera. What we want to do is we want to make this look like it was at night. And we want to pick up on this whole idea of uh, binoculars. So let's double click the project to open it up inside Final Cut and type Shift Z so we can see all of our clips. There's a total of five clips in the scene. We've got the girl driving up, the guy driving up, the girl getting out, the guy spying, and the girl going up to the door. Okay. There's several things that we could do. I could open each individual clip up into the inspector and make color grade changes. But I want to pick something much simpler than this. So I'm going to open up the effects browser. Keyboard shortcut is Command-5. Command-5 toggles that browser open and closed. Let's do a search for night. And notice that when I do, it shows a day for night color grade and night vision goggles. Well, a couple things. If I grab a filter and drag it on top of a clip, it'll apply that filter to that clip. But if I select all of my clips and I double click the filter, the filter is applied to all the clips that are selected. Notice the orange render bar over the top of all the clips. Okay, now look what's just happened. It's instantly turned this daytime shot into something that seems much more nightlike. Now the cynical among you will know that you can see a shadow under the car. There is some level of suspension of disbelief because if this was actually night, and if there were actually no lights out there, we would have a black screen. <sighs> Stop being so cynical. Anyway, we've got this driving up. Well, now let's just take a look at this. If I take the filter off, and we'll go up to the inspector, keyboard shortcut is Command-4, temporarily turn off the filter, and open our scopes, Command-7 displays our scopes, look at our white level, right to 100%, black level down near zero, about 2 or 3% above it. Watch what happens to the white level when I turn the filter on. It clamps the white level to 50%. Although it does make the picture darker, if we look at this and compare it to a real live night scene, which I have here, look at that. That's an actual night scene. Clearly, dark sky, dark river, dark overall, but look at my pixel distribution. There's the dark arc of the sky. But I've got pixels that go all the way up to 100% because the lights are bright even though the overall pixel values are dark. Nobody would mistake this for a daytime scene. But it's a wide distribution of pixels from pure black to pure white and everywhere in between. This is why this day for night filter can be so tricky because I've cut myself off from 50% of the, of the white value. I'll never have any punch. It's going to be dark. It'll get away with um, pretending to be shot at night. But it wasn't actually shot at night. I just want to point out the differences that we can see clearly on the scope. And there's our guy rolling in. And there's our girl getting out. And then the spy. And what's he holding? He's got some binoculars. Well, let's pick up on this binocular look. Go to the next scene. And rather than have it look like it's just a regular scene, let's drop in some night vision goggles. Except that implies some pretty high-tech night vision. And all he's got is a cheap pair of binoculars. So what I did is I right mouse clicked on this filter. I said, open a copy in motion. I opened this filter in motion, took out the green effect, saved it. In this case, I saved it in a category called Larry. And I called it binoculars. 
there it is. It's the exact same effect without the green. So I'm going to get rid of the green. I'm going to highlight it. Go to the inspector. Click on the night vision. Hit the delete key. Make that disappear. Click, hold, and drag the new filter in, and it loads the binoculars. Now, this binocular setting is a custom setting of the night vision goggles, which I did inside motion and just saved it to my own category called Larry, so I didn't have to create all this myself. We have the ability to vary the amount, how dark the edges are. We want it to look like it's totally blacked out. We can even change the offset, whether the, the binoculars are separated or mostly separated. We can change position. There's a bunch of settings you could use. But I want to make this look like he is spying on her. The cool thing about using a look is I don't have to understand anything about the color board. I don't have to understand anything about how color grading works. I just simply pick a look that looks good and drop it on. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to color correct a scene inside Final Cut Pro 10. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. You get access to more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 101.